Out of all the scenes in Cars 3, the scene where Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez enter the cotter pin might be my favorite. I love all the scenes in Thomasville uh, explaining Doc's past or when Lightning McQueen has his cool training montage. And when they enter the cotter pin, it shows so many new cars, such as Bill Revs here. Uh, so welcome all to JS Cars Day. Today we will be reviewing the one and only Bill Revs from Disney Pixar Cars. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging. Disney Pixar Cars, the 2018-2019 logo, which I'm very excited. We've just uh, gotten reveals of new packaging for the most likely 2020 releases. And the new packaging looks really cool. Um, we've got nice heart of him there. He's very happy. There he is in there, Bill Revs. On the side, you can see the Cotter Pin logo, which is uh, obviously indicating he is in the uh, Cotter Pin series. On the back here, we can see the nice sign for the Cotter Pin Bar and Grill. Friends of the late, great, fabulous Hudson Hornet gather around at the Cotter Pin, presuming that is referring to more so Smokey and Je and uh, and uh, River Scott or Louise Armstrong Nash. Because I doubt somebody here like Bill actually knew the fabulous Hudson Hornet. But um, on the back you can also see other cars such as Jenny Toland, Zanadu Bumpers, uh, I think that's Vanden Kerr, and ooh, I can't remember this guy's name, which is so unfortunate because I know who he is. He's the first ever El Camino. Um, but he's a really cool car that I want to get. I just I can't think of his name. He was released alongside Todd Crash, I know that. But yeah, and then we just got all this other stuff made in Thailand, obviously, like most of the 2019 cars. So yeah, uh, Bill I've had for a while here, and I'm very excited to open him up and review him to you. So, I'll be right back with him open. Is it just me, or have the package has lately been a lot easier to open? Like, take with him here, it came off so smoothly without really ripping anything. Same with, uh, Lee Boy Hemming here. So, I don't know, that might just be me, but I think that's a good thing how easily they're coming off. Anyways, let's take a look at him. On the camera here, it's kind of hard to tell, but he's got a very bright orange design here. He's got his grill there with headlights, but they seem to be missing. He's got a very happy expression here. Now, Expression is the one thing I don't really like about him, and I'll get to that in a minute. But he's got this kind of like a matte finish, very similar to like all the Demolition Derby racers. He's got a hood there with some rust on it, on the top very plain just with rust. He's got his, um, his rear view mirrors, green eyes, forgot to mention that. Then he's got this brown wooden stripe going across kind of like the old-fashioned station wagons with some brown wheels and black tires on the back there he does not have a license plate so he is uh, driving illegally but you can see his black window there his tail lights bumper some rust and then this side is basically the same as the other side there is the base if anyone's interested now what I don't like about the expression now, this has to do with it being made in Thailand, but if you look at it, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, and it looks a lot better in person in, than I thought it would, but it's still, his eyes, like, the color of the eyes, because it's an eye plate, first of all, they're so much glossier than the rest of the car, they're very glossy, like, you can see the light here reflecting off his eyes, but it's not on his hood or anything. But it's also, the orange on his eyelids is like a different shade. And then his eyes themselves are like super big. And I don't know, it just, it doesn't look right in my opinion. But the rest of the car I really like. But yeah, that really does it for him. He's pretty self-explanatory. Um, most of the background cars are, but I figure I'll review him to you anyways. I mean, some car people review have reviews that are like 10 minutes long, so I figure I'll just make mine short and sweet, because not everyone has 10 minutes 
to waste on a car like Bill here. Alright, thank you all so much for watching my review on Bill Revs. I hope you all enjoyed very, very much. Um, and make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Once again, I'm very near to 100 subscribers. And if we could get there really soon, that would be awesome. But thank you all so much for watching once again. GS Cars 8, signing out.